All right. Till this moment, uh, we had only single main branch. But that's not usually the case in real repositories, and usually there are multiple branches. And now it's time to talk about branches and merging of the branches. Let's have a look at this picture. And here you see main branch with several commits, and here is the very first commit in the project, and it is called root commit. And also there are two feature branches, feature one branch and feature two branch. Those branches were created from the main branch at different moments of time. This feature one branch was created at this moment when there was this commit in the main branch. And that's why first commit in the feature one branch has this commit as a parent. Feature two branch was created a bit later. And that's why this particular commit is parent commit for the first commit created in the feature two branch. And now those feature branches are actually two separate, let's say, lines of the story. Here is main story and here are other stories. And usually feature branches are created when you want to develop specific feature. And of course you need to test specific feature and when you are ready, you could merge specific feature into the main branch. Of course, name of the main branch don't need to be necessarily main, it could be for example release or dev or something else, it doesn't actually matter. But the main idea is that feature branches usually need to be merged into the main branch. So how it works? Let me explain to you step by step merging process. First, you need to create a new feature branch from the main branch. Next, you usually make some changes in the new branch and commit changes, and certainly you could create multiple commits in the new branch. Simultaneously, in the main branch here, other commits might be created as well. For example, after creation of the feature one branch, there were two additional commits here in the main branch. So, three commits here in the feature one branch and two additional commits here in the main branch. So, here is difference between those two branches. When you are ready to merge specific feature branch to the main branch, you need to check out that main branch. Again, name should not be necessarily main, it could be different name. But in terms of git, such branch you want to merge to is called receiving branch. And this branch must be checked out before merging. So check out receiving branch. And afterwards merge feature branch to the currently checked out receiving branch. And for that there is command git merge. And after merge you need to specify name of the feature branch you want to merge into the currently checked out receiving branch. You could also merge multiple branches at the same moment of time. But that's not what is usually performed. Usually just single feature branch is merged into the main, release or dev branch. That's merging process. But what actually happens when you perform merge? Let's have a look at this picture. In this picture there is main branch and there is feature branch, here it is. In this feature branch there are three commits in yellow. There are also other commits made in main branch after creation of the feature branch. And here is a commit that is called ancestor. And this commit is common for those branches, for feature branch and main branch. After ancestor, they have different commits. Different commits here and different commits here. That's usually how picture looks like when you develop specific feature. Because while you are working on development of specific feature in separate branch, main branch develops as well. Maybe other features are merged into the main branch. Or there are new commits created directly in the main branch. Different branches evolve differently. But at a specific moment of time, you decide to merge feature branch into the main branch. And when you decide to do so, and when git merges feature branch into the main branch, it creates new merge commit. And this happens when in receiving branch, in this example main branch, there are some commits that are absent in the feature branch. Here they are, those three commits. And when git will create such merge commit, 
it will have two parents. One pointer will be to this commit and another pointer will be to this commit from the feature branch. And afterwards, when merge commit is created, you could safely remove feature branch. But of course, all those commits will be kept in place because there is pointer to those commits, pointer from this merge commit. There is also other type of merge called fast forward merge. And it is applied when there are no additional commits in the receiving branch after creation of the feature branch. But in 90% of cases, three-way merge is applied and there is new merge commit like I just described. Notice that before merging, main branch pointer was at this commit. And after merging, of course, main branch pointer moves to the last commit in the main branch and it is merge commit. And head, of course, moves along with main branch. 